The movie's out, the trailer looks amazing, but I won't be going to see it. What is The Hunger Games? A dark future world has a reality TV show where 24 boys and girls are forced to compete to the death. They have to kill each other. Two children from each district are selected by the government. Is this series a critique of the violence and injustice it describes? I don't think so. Here's why. The first issue is survival. Survival is the most important thing for the contestants. They will do whatever it takes to survive. For example, kill the other contestants. The heroes, Katniss and Peter, are the good guys, so they kill more gently than the bad guys. They drop an insect nest on someone's head so they'll get stung and swell up and die naturally. Or they steal their food so that they starve. The thing is, that's still killing. It's like reading about a Nazi soldier doing bad things to others so that they can stay alive themselves. The truth is, sometimes survival is not the most important thing, like when it involves doing bad things to somebody else. In the book, surviving takes second place when suffering makes death more attractive. Then the heroes recommend suicide or mercy killing, killing an injured or captured friend. This is portrayed as really heroic. No, what's heroic is to prevent or remove suffering wherever you can, not to kill everyone who is suffering. The second issue is how the heroes get desensitized, told in a way that we're supposed to enjoy. I don't want to enjoy that. Because they'll be on camera, the contestants have to have a full body wax. They must overcome their modesty because if they're afraid of showing themselves, it will only make them more vulnerable. They need to be tough. But the sickening thing is that it's written in a way that the reader should enjoy this loss of innocence. What a way to harm young girls. And the romance is just a tool of survival. If Katniss and Peter fake a romance, they're more likely to win the sympathy of sponsors who can send them the food and medicine they need. So there's long, lingering kisses, and later they pretend that they're married and that she's pregnant. But all of this physical affection supposedly means nothing. Therefore, Katniss also kisses her old boyfriend because she's lonely. So we have desensitization to make the girl comfortable revealing everything, and false romance so that a passionate kiss doesn't mean anything. Great message. The third issue. Katniss does a lot of wrong, mainly the killing kind. But not only does she remove her guilt and remorse by blaming the government, but she's made a hero for it. Nazi soldiers could blame Hitler, but that doesn't change the fact that what they did was wrong, and at least they're not made heroes for it. Katniss curses the culture that sacrifices its children to settle its differences, but she plays along with it and is made a hero for it. The fourth issue, Katniss is made out to be this great rebel against an unjust regime, but let's look at her rebellious actions. First, she fakes a romance with Peter so that she can get food. That's serving her own good, that's not rebelling. Then Katniss and Peter threaten to commit double suicide instead of one having to kill the other. But that's after they've killed other people. Saving a friend is not rebellious. Maybe if she'd tried to save all of them, that would have been rebellious. Then Katniss places flowers on her friend's grave, which is supposed to be a rebellious show of emotion. But then she goes on killing and fighting. By the end, the rebels want to bring down the capital, and they're running on hatred and bitterness and revenge and they use bombs and guns to kill hundreds of innocent citizens who get in the way. Katniss doesn't feel good about this large-scale killing, but she has no problem shooting a citizen who blocks her path. It's just not consistent. Katniss does not rebel against injustice. She just tries to preserve her own life and her family and her friends. The fifth issue is the seductive sensationalism of the storytelling, which will only be greater in the movie. It's like watching a graphic news story that turns horrific events into entertainment. The screaming, the blood, the broken bodies, the gruesome deaths, the torture, all described in detail to heighten the emotional impact. If this series is a critique of using injury and death for entertainment, it's just hypocritical. This series, this movie, is making injury and death into entertainment. So our recommendation, don't read it, don't watch it. But if you must read it, or you must see the movie, at least talk about these three questions. Are these characters really heroes for acting as they did? Maybe compare them to Nazi soldiers, were they heroes? Could killing our sensitivity actually be a form of harm? And is it good to turn someone else's injury and death into our graphic entertainment? Behind me are a whole lot of books and movies that would make great alternatives to this series. Give them a try. 
A list of these titles can be found on our full written review of The Hunger Games at the link you'll find below. Read them and compare, and decide who the real heroes are. Thank you.